Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition Skyblock video. And as you can see, not much has really changed since the last video other than this new addition right here. So yeah, finally one of these saplings grew. It did take a while, but I'm glad it did, and it ended up being a large tree too, which is excellent because not only do I get more logs out of it, but I also get more leaves too. Although, it kind of seems like I'm getting about the same. Maybe like one more log than usual? <laughs> okay, then. Looked like a large tree. At least we have a lot of leaves, though. So we can get more saplings. Hopefully some apples this time. Let's not make them fall down the void here. Because that would be just sad. Just like in the last video, I made that mistake. So hopefully let's not do that this time. I'm just trying to get all the leaves broken above the void first. Ooh, we're kind of in a really interesting situation. Okay. <laughs> There we go. That wasn't really so bad, but still, just have to be very careful here. So I guess we can go ahead and just break away all this cobblestone and hope that this thing starts breaking away on its own. I am going to have to be underneath it, though, because I don't want anything to just start flying off and then falling into the pit. So we don't want that for sure. But anyways, as you can tell, it is a rainy... Oh, wow, that is very close to the edge. Anyways, as you can tell, it is a rainy evening. Yeah, because the moon's rising, so... <laughs> Yep, I guess it's evening. Also, you can see that I got a few more pieces of cobblestone here. So now I have a 64 stack and 17. So that is going to be used for slabs. So I'm going to craft a few slabs because three cobblestone blocks give you six slabs. So it's actually going to make me travel farther. So what we're going to do is we're going to crouch and we're going to get right into this. So I want to just explore out. So because this is modeled after classic Skyblock, there is going to be that desert island. Now, I don't actually know exactly where it is and that's why we're gonna be doing this today and of course if it's not in this direction i can just use this path as a way to branch off and create a mob area where mobs spawn in the future then i'll obviously create a friendly mob area as well but for now this will suffice i don't know how far i want to go exactly but i'm thinking let's see how are we doing here i might go to x zero or no actually because it increases as i move so i'm going to go to like x 50 and if that doesn't get me anywhere, then, well, we are just going to turn back. <laughs> I really hope mobs don't start spawning on this platform, because that would be devastating if that were to happen. But let's just keep going and hope for the best. We're almost at y or X50 already, so I'm guessing maybe it's not in this direction. I don't know exactly how far away the island is from the main island either, so it could easily be 100 blocks away, and I would not even know. But also, since it's raining, the render distance is significantly decreased. So the only thing that I could do now at this point is try another direction. So I'm thinking I'm going to try this way. So let's go ahead and come down here and start by doing that. So I'm thinking that that bridge up there is where I'm going to put the mob area. That's over a stack. That should be enough for the rest of this. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like the uh, negative Z increases as I go along, so we're going to go to negative Z 50. I really want to reach it today. I really want to, but I don't think it's going to be possible. I mean, it honestly could be anywhere. The map's creator could have honestly put it at an angle. Like, it may not even be, like, in the specific four directions, north, south, and east, and west from the center of the main island could very well be in the corner somewhere at a diagonal angle so i mean like i said who even knows like it could be several blocks away but oh oh i just found it huh all right then i guess it was in this direction well okay it's got a chest too let's see what's in it oh man good thing it has sandstone on the bottom too that is definitely nice all right, and we're here, just like that. That wasn't so bad. We didn't really have to go that far, so that was decent enough. So we got a cactus here, and I'm thinking, I'm just gonna let this grow. I'm not. I'm just not gonna let it sit here. I mean, I could take it back to my island, so I could just grab a piece of sand. Then I could grab the cactus. Okay, whew. I'm just gonna throw all this stuff in my inventory. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what's in the chest. Oh, we got a melon and we got a pumpkin seed. We have food now. We can actually create a melon farm. So that is great news. I was honestly kind of worried that we weren't able to find any food 
at least a decent enough food source, but thankfully there was a melon in that chest and 10 obsidian too, so we can actually go to the nether. But the nether in this skyblock world, I don't think it's a, a void world like the overworld, but I could be wrong. Okay, ooh, we got quite a bit of saplings here. No apples though. But that doesn't matter. We got our melon now, so that's excellent news. And we also have two branching paths for future projects. So obviously the upper one's gonna be used for, actually I might use the lower one for mobs and the upper one for friendly mobs. So this will be for hostile and this will be for friendly. So once I get those platforms made, that'll be for that. So now that I'm back, let's go ahead and start designating an area that I'm going to use for this melon area. So we're gonna have to get some more blocks here, but I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use the full blocks of cobblestone here. Cause I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point that off camera, I'm gonna have to get more. So I know I can't place actual crops on this, but I do want to at least start expanding this place because it is starting to get a wee bit cramped, especially with all these trees in place. So first of all, dirt is not going to be, dirt is obviously a very valuable resource in Skyblock. So I need to make sure that I don't use it up. So now we're going to figure something out. So it's going to be interesting because honestly to start, I could just do this. And then I could grab my melons, go into my crafting table, and create melon seeds. So now we have one single melon seed. However, I placed down this melon seed, the melon's either going to grow to this block or to that block. So once it eventually grows, of course, but because there's water right next to it, should be pretty decent enough, honestly. And now we have a food source. Well, we won't for a while, unfortunately, because, yeah. I have to wait for that melon to grow, but... AFK is my friend here. I'll just stand here, wait for that tree to grow, wait for this melon to finish, and we'll be good. So let's go and grab the saplings, and I'm going to place the sapling right there. So, yeah, that is the progress we managed to make today. We went to the island, finally found a food source after all, well, I don't want to say after all this time. This is only the second episode after all, so I mean, I'd say it's pretty quick. But dang, I hope this melon starts growing. It hasn't even gotten to the second stage yet. Or maybe it has, because now instead of being like a little nub, or maybe, yeah, it looks exactly like how it was when I planted it. Eh, okay. I mean, at least the farmland's now saturated in water, so that's good, of course. You know, you want that. But other than that, I mean, we got the... Uh, now, as far as getting flint is concerned, you might think flint is very hard to get, but I just realized something. How are we going to do that? Because there was no flint in the desert chest and there was no foot in this chest because the only other way that I could think of lighting the nether portal would be with the lava here. I could use the lava lighting trick, which honestly is probably what I'm gonna end up doing. So luckily I have my spare bucket so I can just grab this lava and use it too, of course. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the lava and use that to light the portal. So, uh, yeah, it stopped raining. So I'm just curious. Now that it stopped raining, I want to see how far I would have had to gone in order to start seeing the island. Oh, not very far. And there's not another hidden chest here. I don't even know if there's another island in this world. I don't think there is. But obviously, there's no hidden chest here. Like, even if I break away the middle, oh, there might be one in the middle. No, there's no hidden chest. There's only one on the desert island here. But, oh, we can't even make a sugarcane farm either. I mean, not that that really matters too much, but God, I, I really need to stop jumping and running. That's also really going to affect the <laughs> food that I have, of course, too. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to go and conclude it for the second episode. This is kind of a smaller video, but the next video, I'm going to start making the hostile mob farm because, yeah, that's going to be needed, especially very soon. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.